Fight fans, Susan Singar here from Must Love MMA, where every fighter has a story. And joining me today is the bare knuckle beast, Jim Allers. How are you today, Jim? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Good. I'm good. So a lot of things going on with COVID-19, and there's been some controversy on IG between you and Louis Baboon Palomino. Set the record straight for us, Jim, if you will. Well, I mean... You know, I got offered the title fight and, you know, I didn't care who was against because we know it, everybody knows it, you know, that I deserve this belt, you know, more than anybody else in the division. I pretty much cleaned out the division and they're just looking for people for me. So, you know, I take the fight. Granted, I only have four weeks notice, right, right. you know, and um, I take it against um, a friend of mine, Louis Palomino, who I've trained with in the past and everything. And you know, he only has one bare knuckle fight. So do, do I honestly feel that he deserves the bare knuckle title fight? No, not really. Is he, a, is he amazing in MMA? Yeah, he did some amazing things, won world titles, fought some great stars, but so did I. You know, I traveled around the world, won many world titles, did the same thing, but I had to prove myself in bare knuckle over and over and over and over again, you know? And so with me having to pull out the fight, um, because of everything that happened, which we'll go over in a second. Um, I just assumed that maybe they'll give him another fight or something that okay. I, they would save the chance to, to win the, the world title for the first time to, to me, the, the guy who's put in the work. But um, I guess it's business. It is what it is. But, um, you know, I, I, like I said before, I feel, you know, they're fighting for that interim belt. I'm really the champ. But um, yeah, let's go. So COVID-19 has really like took a toll in my, in my fight camp. You know, I only had four weeks to, to train for this fight camp and my coach, you know, started feeling not too well. So he went and got tested. Um, you know, so right then I already had to start waiting before I even knew if he was positive or not. So I already couldn't train. I trained with one person, one person only for all, all four of my last bare knuckle fights. I'm not going to change that sure. for anyone. You know, I don't owe anybody anything. I put in the work, you know, so, um, you know, so right away, after, at first we were going to wait it out and see what happened, but um, he ended up becoming positive. And, um, you know, my coach is a cancer survivor, so he took it very seriously. He's still, he's still not training other people right now until he comes back oh. negative. So he's took another test. So we're waiting on those results and um, I couldn't risk it. I have no. both my parents live with me. Um, they're over my dad's about to turn 70, um, has stage four prostate cancer, Sorry. you know, and uh, a world title is nice, you know, but yeah. like I said, we all know it. I'm a regular champ. That's just hard work that I need to go pick up. So they can fight for it. It doesn't mean that they're the champ in my eyes. Who would you like to have fought then? Who would I have liked to have fought? Yes, sir. Oh, man. I mean, I just believe... Even Isaac Valley Flag right. has put in more work for for the company, you know, to to get that fight to have happen. Um, is he as big of a name? No, yeah. but he's definitely put in the work. Um, he also hasn't really fought too many times at 155 either, though. Right. I think he he um, tried one time and came on even overweight, if I remember correctly, or maybe both guys did. I'm not sure, but um, I think he was even more deserving of, of the belt. Mm. If we, if we're not going to do the tournament that I was told over and over and over and over again, that, um, I had to do. So, I mean, gosh, any of the guys I fought almost yeah. are more, more deserving. Um, Leonard Garcia, you know, he was coming off a knockout to Julian Lane and becoming the, I think it was the Latin American bare knuckle champ. Right. Um, Julian Lane, a former, uh, bare knuckle boxing champion, um, you know, Caleb Harris coming off the 2019 knockout of the year. Those guys put in the work in the company. So, you know, any of those guys could have been title fights, but no, you know, I didn't get that, that opportunity. So um, I guess we'll just have to see, you know, I guess I know COVID kind of messed the plans up for everybody, but um, I guess we'll have to see how everything plays out. You know, before we go any further in this interview, I just want to say to the fans out there that both Jim and I are in Florida. And if you've been following the news, it is like 
crazy down here. So he's not bully- BSing you. I don't know if I can use the swear word online, but he's not BSing you because Florida is really, really bad. And uh, it's affected a lot of businesses. And it's also a lot of the coaches, American top team, which is a big MMA gym down here. Mike Brown was unable to corner Jorge Masvidal last week. So it's very, very, very serious condition down here. You know, Jim, I also saw some stuff on IG about Artem. What's going on with that? Man, you know Artem. He's just trying to to stay stay in the um, in the news, you know, because people are just forgetting about him. You know, it's kind of he was exposed by by Jason Knight. Jason Knight just pieced him up and and finished him, put him away, threw him in the trash. And I think um, he's done with bare knuckles, just trying to look for the next publicity stunt that um, he can do to make a little bit of cash. I'm sure. So, Jim, there's a reason why they call you the bare knuckle beast. You're undefeated in bare knuckle. Congratulations, by the way. However, we always gain new fans at at bare knuckle fighting championship. And so for fans who haven't had a chance to see your handiwork, so to speak, can you give us sort of a BKFC rewind recap of your fights, please? Yeah, I'd have to say I'm probably like one of my 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 most. Um, proudest moments in bare knuckles so far is when I went against the uh, always dangerous Leonard Garcia. You know, this guy was coming off of, you know, almost 40 fights, never being finished. A UFC and WEC vet um, already was, uh, like I said, the Latin American bare knuckle champ. So, you know, I came into this, you know, maybe I got lucky my first fight. <laughs> We're going to have to see what happens here. You know, the jiu-jitsu black belt against, you know, the yeah. the brawler who always puts on the amazing fights. So, you know, I remember just being, being you know, kind of nervous for that fight. But really? Lennon Garcia actually prayed with me in the back. We ended up praying yeah. together. And um, that just brought a bunch of calm to my to my heart, to my head, you know. And I remembered, you know, hey, man, this is, this is all fun and games, you know. Uh, there's so much more in life that matter so i'm just gonna go out there and do my thing and um i remember just going out there and knocking him down like probably within the first five seconds or so and automatically i was like okay i got this you know this is my fight and then um, it just kind of went my way from there what about the fight with caleb harris that was amazing as well oh man with caleb that was a that was a war that was awesome you know it was it was funny because before that fight i was like man i want i want someone to get in there and and bang with me and, and make me bloody. And um, Caleb was definitely the guy that came out and did that. Um, I thought I was gonna go in there and just kind of finish him, which was very close in the first round. Um, dropped him pretty fast, but then he just kept coming and kept coming and kept coming. You know, um, I think my hands were just completely swollen by round three and I was just throwing, you know, with no feeling in them. And, it actually started to be painful with every punch after that. But um, I knew I had to finish the fight. It was awesome to be there with my fans, you know, chanting the bare knuckle beast. So um, I had to come out on top. And I think um, definitely 2020 fight of the year. Yeah. And we got to see if anybody can, can top that. I was there for that fight. It was amazing. And Caleb's got a lot of heart. I'd actually like to see you rematch him. But we'll have to wait for that. I also wanted to ask you, does it matter, Jim, who they put in front of you? It doesn't seem like it at all. No, it doesn't really. Um, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm not afraid of anybody. You know, they all, they come in, they think that they, they have what it takes. This is a different sport. You know, this is something that I had to learn on the go. And um, unless you're coming in already a seasoned vet in bare knuckle, which I already have more wins than most of our champions do, you know, so um, I'm not really worried about who they put in front of me. It's all going to be the same the same thing at the end. Now, you also have fought in MMA. Any chance you're going to go back to that or you're just going to stay with Bare Knuckle? You seem very suited to Bare Knuckle. Yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with Bare Knuckle. And, you know, David treats me very well. He's an awesome guy. So um, I think Bare Knuckle is definitely my home for now. All right. We're happy to hear that. Before we go today, Jim, is there anything else you want to add? And please give us your social media handles. Not, not much, man. Just stay, stay healthy, everybody, and treat, treat each other with respect and just let's be there for each other, guys. This is a hard time in life for everybody, so do what you can to give a helping hand. Um, you can follow me at Fight Gym on my Instagram. I'm very active in that. You know, I'm always training hard. I'm ready. You know, when these guys are done fighting for the interim belt, 
the real the real championship will be on the line. So um, stay tuned. All right, we are looking forward to that. All right, fight fans, BKFC 11, Flag versus Palomino goes down Friday, July 24th from Oxford, Mississippi. You can watch that fight free on the BKFC YouTube and Facebook pages live and also on Sports Flicks Global. And we will be there bringing you all the beautiful, bloody action. Jim, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. I wish your father good luck and your coach as well. I look forward to speaking with you next time. and can't wait to see you back in action, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate it.